Well, the moment has finally arrived. I am leaving tomorrow to go pick up my trailer. I am both excited and nervous. I guess those emotions often go together. Um, unfortunately, I'm leaving during one of the worst um, weather events Northern California has had, so I'm a little nervous about driving on the roads. I was going to take the faster route um, going over um, Mount Shasta, but I'm thinking maybe I won't because it's probably going to be snowing there. And I don't do snow very well. I'm not very familiar with it. I'm a California girl and um, I, I have snow chains just in case, but I'm going to take, I think, an alternate route that's uh, not going to be going up to such a high elevation. It's going to take me about an hour and a half longer, but um, I, to me it's worth it because um, I don't want anything uh, stressful to happen. This whole thing needs to go as smoothly as possible. I don't deal with stress as well <laughs> as when I was younger. Um, so in general, stress is um, difficult for me. I get anxious easily. So I want to, you know, make it easy on myself and uh, definitely go um, the route that's going to be the easiest for me, uh, even though it's going to take longer. Uh, so I'm going to divide up the 16-hour uh, drive in three days, so I'm uh, anticipating that I will get up to British Columbia, Canada um, by next, well, in two, uh, three days, which is Tuesday, and uh, uh, pick up my new trailer. So um, hopefully everything will go well and go smoothly. I had a little bit of a snafu last week in that the Manufacturer had told me several months ago that I could pay for the trailer when I picked it up. And I just happened to email him and say, you know, um, is that still hold true? And he said, no, I, you know, I need you to pay it before you even leave. So I had to scramble to get the wire transfer done and everything in a day. Um, so that was a bit stressful. Um, and then the manufacturer also says something about, well, you're going to need uh, a manifest and you're going to need a uh, temporary license plate. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is <laughs> I, you didn't tell me any of this before. I don't know anything about it. So um, I called up the DMV and I called my insurance company. And it turns out that all I need is actually um, just proof of insurance in case I get pulled over and then the manufacturer is going to provide the manifest uh, also known as port of entry documents something like that I've never done this before so this is all new to me and um, I don't need a temporary license plate or anything like that so I got a scare for for nothing but I'm glad I got it cleared up and I can again have less stress um, because, you know, it's not like I can just turn around and go home and, and, and uh, pick up what I need. Okay, my arm's getting tired. Um, um, you know, I'm going all the way up to Canada. So I'm racking my brain trying to think of everything that I need to bring with me. Uh, which, at my age, it's getting harder and harder to <laughs> think of everything and remember everything. And... Um, try and be organized and all of that so um it's it's an interesting process but i've got my car almost packed up i always have to wait to the last day to pack up the food and my toiletries since i use those things but i'm hoping to get an early start tomorrow and then i'll sleep in my car i have a little uh, bed platform actually um set up in my car and i'll sleep in my car somewhere rest stop or wild camp or something um and then the second night, I'm going to stay with a cousin of mine. So that'll be nice to visit. And then I go up to Canada. So it's all very exciting and uh, I can't wait. I am nervous about towing um, a trailer just in general, but to have to tow it in, you know, winter weather is a bit scary for me. I will probably be one of those annoying drivers on the road that's in the far right lane going very slow. <laughs> and... I don't like driving through Oregon because every time I drive through Oregon, the drivers get really pissed at me because I usually drive the speed limit and they go 20, 25, 30 miles above the speed limit. So they're very fast drivers in Oregon and I'm going to have 
something behind me and I'll be going even slower. So I'm a little nervous about that. But um, actually the, the bad weather may give me an excuse to be driving slower. So uh, in any case, it's uh, the trailer is all paid for and I'm all good to go with that. And, you know, it's scary to buy something sight unseen. I'm really nervous about this. What if I get there and discover, oh, no, I can't, I don't like this trailer. It's not what I thought, but too late. Can't do that. So um, my thinking was, okay, well, what if it turns out that I don't like the trailer, that it's not going to work for me? I can always rent it out. Actually, the manufacturer lets you, lets you rent it out. I don't think you pay any fees. Uh, through their website so I could rent it out here in the San Francisco Bay Area quite easily I'm sure and make some money from it um, And I could always sell it too for you know, probably a pretty good price. I think teardrops are pretty um, High in demand um, And so I'm not too worried about that. I think it should work out just fine and uh yeah, I have to figure out where I'm going to store the thing. I can't store it where I live. I did check into a um, storage place nearby, and it's a little expensive at $100 a month, but at least it's close by. Um, eventually, I might be able to find something cheaper, but probably further away. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be gone about a week, and I'll probably um, camp out a couple of nights uh, in the camper on the way home, of course, and so I will definitely do a video of the new camper. So, um, wish me luck, and um, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye for now.